Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, I wanted to do a quick video on a really simple expedient for replacing the tab and slot uh, coupler on virtually any uh, Marks car or locomotive. Now, this was completely missing, so I just used a 632 screw and a nut, as you see, to mount that tab and slot coupler. The problem with this is, because of the vibration, this will not stay tight. And uh, you can use two nuts, but it's a pain in the butt to get them tight. So what I do is put the screw in it, screw a nut down on it, and uh, go up to Ace Hardware and you can get these little grommets, about 10 cents each. You take a grommet, put it over the screw, push down on it, and that will never loosen at all. It'll stay tight forever. Now it's a, uh, just an expedient. Uh, you know, you can uh, mount this with a rivet with no problem at all. But if you don't have a rivet set, you're really limited on how to mount one of these tab and slot couplers. Anyway, a really simple way, of course, is just a screw and a nut. But like I said, that nut will not stay tight. You can tighten it. You can run this thing around the rail ten times, and it'll have unscrewed four or five turns. That's just the vibration. There's just no way to uh, keep that nut tight unless you put two of them on there. One is a jam nut, but then you need two little wrenches. You can epoxy it, but in this case, it's really simple. Just to put the screw through the hole, put the nut on until it's finger tight, and then just push that rubber grommet over the screw, as you see, and that nut will never loosen. It'll stay exactly that tight, or however uh, much you tightened it. And you can run this thing forever. It will never vibrate loose. It works really, really well. Like I said, you can get these grommets at uh, Ace Hardware. And uh, I use these uh, quite often uh, for locking uh, the nut onto a screw. It's really simple. It's reusable. You want to take it off, just pull the grommet off, take the uh, nut off, take the screw out, and replace it with a rivet. But if you don't have a rivet set, like I said, it's really simple just to use that screw, a single nut, and then that rubber grommet. And uh, it will lock that nut. It will never, ever loosen up. It'll stay however tight you tighten it. Anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. It's a really simple expedient, but it works really well. And it's an instant way to mount a coupler uh, that's missing just by using a 632 screw and nut. And again, that little rubber grommet. This works really, really well. It's an expedient, of course, but uh, that'll stay on there virtually forever. Once you take it off, you can uh, loosen the nut, take it off, and replace the entire thing with a rivet. But I just wanted to do a quick video on this. It works. It keeps that thing tight, and it will not vibrate loose. So just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.